Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Today, what I am hoping to help you with is making a decision on whether to pick up the Lost Ruins of Arnak Expedition Leaders expansion from Czech Games Edition. Yes, I know, I'm slightly late to the party on this one, and a lot of people have already talked about this game, but you know what? It's new to me. I just bought this today from one of the uh, awesome, friendly local game stores here in Windsor, Ontario. Shout out to Tabletop Renaissance and Solon, and congratulations on two years in business. So this is a shiny new copy of the first expansion for Lost Ruins of Arnak, um, the combination deck builder board game, um, one of, honestly, my all-time favorite games, one of the best games I have ever played, um, my wife's current favorite game of all time, absolutely adore Lost Ruins of Arnak, and I have heard that it's even better with this expansion. Now, despite all the press that's already out there, I know very little about what comes in here except for it adds asymmetric powers to the game. I love, I am a huge fan of asymmetry in board games. So I am really looking forward to that. And to be fair, I'm going to be surprised by anything else except for the fact that I know you start with leaders that make the game asymmetric. So please join me as I crack open my copy of Lost Ruins of Arnak Expedition Leaders for the first time. All right, here you have my copy of Lost Ruins of Arnak Expedition Leaders. Uh, fair warning, you need to own Lost Ruins of Arnak. If you played Arnak, you realize like there's no way this is a complete game. It's far too small. But just in case you weren't aware, you do have to own Lost Ruins of Arnak. I'm going to quickly show off the sides here. Lost Ruins of Arnak. Which, unfortunately, they didn't do the cool thing where you can store it either horizontally or vertically. But man, there was a lot of stuff moving around. One thing I will point out, it's a heavy box. There's a lot in here. Um, I'm assuming a lot of cardboard. So let's take a look. Not rules on top. Giant meeple. There's a meeple. Giant, scary, gray meeple. Is that bigger than the normal? I swear that's bigger than the normal one. I don't know. It's been a while since I played Arnak. Big gray meeple with the Indiana Jones hat. Shh, sorry. This is not a licensed game. The, uh, the, the explorer hat. Cards. New cards. Lots of new cards. We'll take a look at those in a bit. Um, advertising. Hey, look at these good games. Oh my God. Do I own everything? CG. I own it. All right. All right. Got it. Got it. Need it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. I, okay. Don't need this. Eat. Whew. That's hefty. That, that's, that's a rule book. Wow. Okay. That's, that's, that is, I'm assuming extremely well written because the original is extremely, we're, we're going to flip through this pretty quickly. Um, Look at it. Add these to your base game. Boom. Expedition leaders. So the components here should be added to your base game immediately. Okay. Wow. So in addition to extended, they're needed to support other parts. Simply mix them in. All right. So I kind of dig that. Here's a bunch of stuff. You're just going to toss in your base game and it's just going to be there forever. There are also some replacements. That's always good to note. Um, there are new research tracks. There's some setup notes. Then we have the different expedition leaders. Um, which I know is a big part of the game. Everyone's going to have their own unique abilities. Um, already digging the layout here, and man, I love um, the graphics here are great, like the, the way they're showing it off. So here are the rules for the expedition leaders, how to set it up different. Um, new things are happening. Text is a nice, solid size. Lots of white space. A ton of artwork and examples, which is greatly appreciated. Um, the captain. Oh, so it's going to get into each of them. Okay. So there is a separate, at least two page set of rules for each of the new characters. So that's a lot of detail. That's quite a bit of asymmetry. The Baroness, the Professor, Marianne, oh, sorry, the Explorer, the Mystic. New research tracks. So we have a, a totally new temple we can play on. And the Monkey Temple. There is the Lizard Temple. So two new temples. And then some rules specific to special single cards. And then there's another variant called the Red Moon Staff. So I'm seeing at least four different expansions in this one box. So you have the Expedition Leaders, but then you also get two more temples and whatever the Red Moon is. Um, new icons used in this expansion. Appreciated, but would have been cooler to have a global icon list that has the originals and the new ones. Maybe that's in here somewhere. Like right here. Oh, there's one of these for each of the characters. Okay. 
So yes, one of these for each of the ones, which just shows how um, difficult's not the right word, how complex each of the characters are, that there is a player reference sheet for each of the expedition leaders. And those include the new icons. Yes, new icons and concepts. Again, I would have preferred if the old ones were also on here, but I get it. At least this is summarized here. Um, don't see any reason to zoom anything in here. Uh, then we get to, okay, uh, easily punching things. Here's an example. One of the expedition leaders and anyone who's played the base game realizes, like, just look how different this is. Uh, this should be cut off here. Going to the left. And just a generic graphic. Some new tents. It looks like you get a tent of your own color. So a whole bunch of these components, I'm not going to know what the heck they're for. Um, they're going to be specific to the different expedition leaders. Like, I know one of them gets a falcon. So that's one of our leaders. I'm just tossing stuff in the in the box over here. Then we have one of the new temple tracks, which this is a full-size board. So I actually expected... So, all right, let's jump back a bit. These are thin card, a little flimsy. Slightly disappointingly flimsy. I actually thought that's what these were going to be, because it would overlay the board and be laid right on it. These, this is big. Like, I, unfortunately, it's a little bigger. Here, if I don't have that there, I bet you I can show off the whole temple. Yeah, pretty much. So you have a whole new temple track here. This has a lizard at the top of it. Um, obviously, a new progression. There's a monster that's going to get like, placed, or you can fight down there. Or you have to fight the monster to continue. I don't know. Again, this is not a teach. This is an unboxing. And then I'm going to guess this is the monkey temple. But yeah, full-size board. Replace the sides. Now we're going to get into some more expedition leaders. Wow, okay. The leaders really want to come out. There, that's more looks like a standard one. But I see the falcons down here. It's not like double the size of the originals. Yeah, there's some kind of track. Looks cool. Yeah, all the same art on the backs. Nice new locations. New assistants you can, sorry, assistants you can hire. Uh, are we going to have new monsters too? Oh, I have no idea what those are for. Here's the new evil token thing. Some kind of backpack. I absolutely adore the card art in this game. And well, again, here's, here's the back. So new location tokens, the new, um, whatever the, the rules are for that. More locations. More locations alone is just awesome. Oh, nice. More, um. I don't know what they're called. The things that when you go explore, you get, yeah, level two. Again, everything's just like popping out of these. Uh, more monsters. Definitely more monsters. Just as creepy as in the original. Love the monsters in this game here. We'll show off one. Here is just one of the new monsters included in Expedition Leaders. I love the monsters in this game. All right, everything's popping out on its own. I'm going to end up with a punched expansion by the time I'm done this. So, yeah, level one, two sites. We have another leader. Oh, okay. We had two on that sprue. <laughs> sprue attack. Eat. All right, another leader. He's got a spot for something funky here. I don't know what it is. Sorry, they. She. Hitting that wrong, possibly. My bad, they. Another one. Longer board here. Some interesting stuff. Another one. Another leader. Oh, this is obviously where the extra person goes. Yeah, it shows. Extra worker. Again, same art on the back. Oh, monster fellow here. Giant insect. Creepy. Last expedition leader. There's, I don't know, shows like a suitcase. Do a thing to get a suitcase. Looks cool. All right. I don't know how we're going to get all this back in fitting nicely. We're going to throw these in. I know. I have to look at the cards. I'll get to those in a second. All right. New cards. Probably won't go one by one, but I might. Cards. I should zoom in, but I'm not going to. So we have sort by backs. Of course not. It's a deck builder. They all look the same. Oh, no, there's something new. It's open to like sort by artifacts or whatever. We have piloting. We have transmission. 
hidden fear. Oof. Funding. Isn't funding like one of the basic cards? Oh, these are for specific characters. There you go. Asymmetric starting decks. Very cool. There you go. A new deck for one of the new characters. It looks like there's an endgame scoring card maybe for each of them. Oh, so it, the different amounts for the different characters too. So yes, here is one of the other characters set of starting cards. I'm not going to do this for all of them. I'm not going to show off every card. So yes, okay, this makes sense. They've got their pitchers in the top. Here you can kind of see it. Their, their pitchers in the top left. Top right, sorry. I'm like, funding? Funding is a basic card. Okay. Going through all those. All right, here, now we have new item cards. So all of this, this entire stack here, this pile is all for the uh, expedition leaders to make their starting decks asymmetric. Very cool. This, I have no idea what this is. Um, special delivery, this effect you, when you buy a thing, put it directly in your hand. Oh, it's one of the characters. I just noticed it's got, it's got her symbol on it. So that's cool. Cause they would know that's coming in their deck. Cool. New items, parachutes, a little monkey. You can get a little monkey. Haven't you always wanted a little monkey? A goat, a sieve, shovels, crowbars. Iron rations. I'm amused. There's some brand, some some not branding there that amuses me. Hand lens, fountain pens, first aid kits, landing nets, coffee. Oh come on, coffee gives you exploration. Oh, it's blue. Sorry, coffee lets you explore more because you got lots of energy, and it also wakes up one of your assistants. I dig it. A hammock, airship, cat. Okay, game now has a cat. Now I know why everyone loves this expansion. Game now has a cat. Toolbox, camera, army belt. Artifacts, look at all these new artifacts. I'm not showing these off. These would be like secret. Oh, they're neat though. Look at these. Oh, there's a music instrument. It looks really cool. Whole bunch of new artifacts. And that's it. Again, show off some of the stuff here. New items. Look at how thick that is. New artifacts. Not quite as thick, but still impressive. Rest of the expansion. Done. Lost Ruins Arnak Expedition Leaders. There you have what you get in the box. Oh, I put those cards in there. I almost don't want to do this. We're going to go slow. Okay. <laughs> the Expedition Leaders expansion for Lost Ruins of Arnak from Czech Games Edition. This is a expansion, the first expansion for Lost Ruins of Arnak, one of my favorite games of all time. Doesn't add a new player, so you're still stuck with one to four players, but does make every player have an asymmetric ability. Um, looks like multiple abilities. I was shocked. The big surprise for me in this box was just how detailed and different the different expedition leaders seem to be. Each got a two-page spread in the rule book explaining what makes them stick out and their own unique rules. That is more than I was expecting from this. Now, in addition to that, you also get two totally new temples to explore, which I don't know if you have to play the expedition leaders to use them. That'll be something I'll have to discover on my own once I play it. Um, but two new temples to explore, a um, bunch of new items and artifacts, and I guess a couple tokens to replace tokens from the base game to better balance them. Uh, more than I was expecting... The box itself is bigger than I thought, having seen it online before. And man, this is heavy. Um, I'm going to guess everything's going to fit in my base game box, but I'm not here to try that today. So thank you for joining me for my Lost Ruins of Arnak Expedition Leaders unboxing. Now, when I do try to fit this into my base box, and when I finally get it to the table and start playing with this expansion, I will be sharing my experiences on social media, where you can find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. I will eventually be putting up a review on the blog at tabletopbellhop.com, and I am certain we'll be talking about this on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast as we get it played and when a review goes up. Um, you'll be able to find that on your podcatcher of choice. We're on Spotify, Stitcher, Pandora, Apple, and all the places people 
can find podcasts. So thank you very much for joining me for this Lost Ruins of Arnak Expedition Leaders unboxing video. Good day and game on.